All right, so this video, this video is the myth of DVD's balances released by Odd Starva, which if you don't know who they are, I, I don't know how you play DVD or how you don't know who this person is. Probably the most prolific content creator to exist for this game and continues to be. Um, so they're going to be talking about the myth of DVD's balance. It's always interesting when somebody with as much experience and kind of a figure out of the community like Otz makes videos like these because he has so much experience and um, connection to the game. So it's always interesting when he gives his takes. So yeah, go ahead and watch. Anytime there's a new update on DVD, we get an avalanche of people on the forums and across social media declaring very loudly that the game is about to die. And it's about to die because it's too one-sided. And don't get me wrong, I don't see a problem if you think that the game leans a bit towards survivor or leans a bit towards killer. But if you're one of those people that really believes that this game is extremely survivor sided or extremely killer sided, I think you're believing in a myth. Yep. And in this okay. video, I'm going to try to explain why I think that is. Now, I think back we... in the day, I think, I think back in the day, like survivor was extremely powerful when they had like BNPs that like were way worse than now, like. Old DS Unbreakable, Old Dead Hard. Like, you, you could regain exhaustion and chase. I feel like, yeah, back then. Yeah, like, you could talk about that. But even back then, you could say that. But, like, they also had, like, you know, mores that didn't require hooks and stuff like that. Like, there was stuff on the other side that was busted, too. But, yeah, like, you're just feeling the unbalance of the game. Not necessarily, like, you just notice whatever your side you play more, how much the unbalance goes towards your way. I think in general in Dead by Daylight, I feel like the, the survivor side always feels more oppressive because it's a 4v1, so there's you, you're literally outnumbered all the time. So it just kind of feels naturally like more stressful to fight four people because you feel like you're being ganged up on, even if that's not necessarily like the experience, right? Now, like that being said, like obviously four man swift on comms is still the strongest thing in the game. But like it's not as it, it it's exaggerated is what I'm trying to get at. That's so definitely very exaggerated. We want to settle this debate in the most objective way possible, the first thing we should look at is statistics. Unfortunately, the developers have not shared them with us recently, but the last time they did, they were hovering around the 60% kill rate in favor of killer. And according to them, this is the ideal number that they aim for. And this is not initially very intuitive. Why would they aim for 60% instead yeah. of 50% if they want to balance the game right on the middle? But it actually does make sense when you account for the asymmetrical nature of Dead by Daylight. If we have four players on one side and one player on the other, and we assume that each player has a small chance to make a massive mistake, this only benefits yeah. the killer. And it doesn't need to be mistakes, it can be anything. Let's say that every player in the lobby has a chance to make a huge blunder and then quit on the spot or their controller dies at the worst possible time, something yeah. that automatically loses them the game. On killer, we have a small chance for this happening, but on survivor, the chances for at least one of these things happening across all of them are actually much, much higher. Yeah, because one thing happens to one person, it affects everybody, where if it you know happens to you on killer, it only affects you. You're, you're not... You're not um... There's no, like, second or third killer playing with you that's going to have a bad time because you had your controller die mid-game. So you take down three people with you. Whereas the killer, it's just, it's just all by yourself, so it doesn't really matter too much. And guess what? If one survivor dies, that typically means that other survivors die with them because that's how the game works yep. in DVD. So the average looks good, but maybe this isn't enough for some people. You could argue that if you have a person with zero dollars in a room and a person with a million dollars in a room, their average doesn't really matter. It doesn't actually describe the reality of these people. So maybe the average kill rate doesn't describe the reality of the average Dead by Daylight game. But again, if we go by their own statistics, they have claimed that since the introduction of MMR, which is the new matchmaking system, the games are now more fair on both sides. The way the MMR works is that it tries to pair average players with other average players that do more or less the same in terms of performance. And this should mean that on average, each game has a better chance than before at being less one-sided and this again is not enough for some people some people are like well i don't care about the average because i'm a very good player i'm <laughs> actually top highest one percent this is what i was talking about like in, in a couple of my other videos it's like like i have a 90 uh, plus percent win rate it was 94 the last time i calculated it 92 the second time i calculated it like i hover around there like why 
why why do people want to have a hundred percent win rate that's not realistic 90 percent is already extremely high compared to other versus video games where there's like two sides already extremely high why do you want a hundred percent win rate it's so weird and cringy the way plague's that high plague's really good she just like it eliminates healing from the game period eliminates healing from the game period like that's that's pretty good i'm extremely good at the game and at my level the game is clearly one-sided either for killer or for survivor and this is where the interesting part of the video now yeah totally i wonder who he's begins. talking about there even if we assume that both sides killer and survivor are high mmr and presumably high level there are still a lot of factors that can easily decide which side will win most important, in my opinion, is experience. If you have a side with 5,000 hours and one side with 500 hours, the side with more oh, hours here comes the will brand argument. not win. There's also the matter of resources. In this game, you are allowed, but not forced, to bring a lot of strong items, add-ons, and so on. Mm -hmm. If one side brings almost nothing and the other one is stacked, the stack side will often win. Oh yeah. And needless to say, if one of the sides is just chilling and not trying very hard, they don't we'll have a massive you. advantage <laughs> over someone that is actually trying their best. And finally, of course, there's luck. Sometimes you can be objectively better than your opponent and still lose due to bad RNG or some random thing that you could not control. And that, for the most part, is a necessary evil. And all right, now that we've laid all of this out, we can begin to account for these factors. First, we will invite several players, all of which have thousands and thousands of hours of experience, okay. to make sure that they're all on a level playing field and to account for the experience side. Next, we're going to tell them to use anything and everything they want in the game to right. make sure that they all have access to the exact same resources on each side. Then we're going to ask them to try their absolute hardest and do anything it takes to win to make sure that everyone is on the same mindset. And of course, we'll be playing multiple times to account and negate the factor of luck. What we're essentially doing here is getting You know what you can do to fix that? Behavior? Put map seed into custom games. If you're going to want this game to be sweaty and you want your game to have a tournament scene, which you clearly do, give, give map seed in your in your custom games. Like <laughs> Players in the world to show us what each side can do when there's no limits and they do their absolute best. And after five games of pure sweat from both sides, the killers managed to <laughs> kill that. on That's average so funny. <laughs> survivors. This is exactly across the it's bouncing. <laughs> and even though it's a very small sample of just five games, it's actually quite in line with the results that we've seen in similar experiments that have been done in the past. For example, this showcase hosted by Wispy had 30 games, and on average, the killers got 2.16 kills, which is 54%. Overall, we can say, I think pretty confidently, that across the board and even at the extremes, Dead by Daylight is objectively pretty well balanced. But make no mistake, the only reason there's a semblance of balance is because both sides have access to some really insane yep. things. And how insane are we talking? Well, it, I'm going to show you my two it's, favorite it's games. It's balanced because everything is unbalanced, which isn't actually balanced in my opinion. It's because everybody can bring very obnoxious stuff that circumvents skill and experience. Very obnoxious stuff that circumvents skill and experience. In an environment where everybody is bringing all the most obnoxious stuff, yeah, it makes sense. But, like, there's no way to get everybody on the same page. Because there's no casual ranked mode, no anything like that. It's just, everybody's just in the same pool. So, like, you're, that's why, that's what, that's what I mean. Like, with my wording, when I'm, like, when I say somebody's taking advantage of pubs, whether it be the killer or the survivor when I'm playing on stream, that's what I'm saying. They're taking advantage of pubs. They're taking advantage of that uncertainty, that lack of people being on the same page to to not exploit a victory, because exploit is like using something that like you is doing something it shouldn't. But they're cheesing a victory using that lack of people being on the same page. So that's what I mean by that games from this showcase, and you're gonna be able to see for yourself. Oh my goodness. We oh see my side. goodness. This is a 50-50 though. No, it's not a 50-50. It's 100 because there's a yeah. more. Oh, but it's a 50-50 that we could go to. Okay, it's a 50-50 that we could go to Disturb Ward. Big map. Big, yeah. Lots of RNG. Huge, huge spread. Yeah. Or uh, the more lenient uh, chapel, which is still pretty insane if you know how Yeah, that main building can spawn really, really disgusting. Insane. And also yeah. the tile no, straightener shack. It's not a map up at all. The, the pallets are really safe. 
And uh, it depends. You can yeah. have good gen locks for killer though. Oh, oh Starstruck, Yaku Yoke Amulet, Modern Daughter Ring Spirit. Awakened the web. Holy, and okay. they got Disturb War, which is the better mm. of the two mobs. I better use he's happy okay. to see this. Oh, okay, my. okay, now it's interesting. This is a very. Most never played that ever was, was, yeah? All right. Is this gonna work out? That is the question. Uh, This is a big. Ooh, that's a thing that can happen? She tried Wait, to get the hit through the little you, gun. Can you hit that? I don't know. Top five for yeah, I Wake it or is in here. Doesn't want to find out. Hey, that's a good synergy right, with Starshot. So, uh, uh, are you familiar yeah. with the numbers of these add-ons, Hens? Oh, what's that? What? Ooh, that was perfect nice. timing on the dogback. Oh. oh, excellent Lori, play from oh. or Lori that just waited the right amount to. Lori's are strong, out. man. Okay. There's like oh, no okay. idiot Lori's. <laughs> If you're playing yeah, Lori, it's probably because you you're trick. devoted to this. You're devoted oh, to the right life. Now, pause instantly back. They are so quiet. It's not. Oh, nice shot. I think they dropped know? from the same side. They dropped from the same side, didn't they? Okay, but now, Two seconds back. I wanted to. I oh, want Wake Up Eris to have two lingering I seconds back. I really so want it really badly. This is a terrible map for this. I'm not even sure a uh, Starstruck will happen. Oh wait, it did happen. These two are hit. Oh, I don't know what is happening. No. 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 Oh no. No, 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 no. no. Oh my no. god, you hate to see it. Now we have two downs right next to each other. Oh, whoa. And the is other person. Drop him? The yes. other person is. The other person is still starstruck, so. Oh. This is really bad. Oh my god. This is like really no bad. He didn't see it coming. Oh my god. That is actually really brilliant. What a build, what a build. I respect that, the fact that- Cast every comp plays. game. I, that, there, that took I would, a that, that would be only, this build that would be the only thing fall. I would be interested in, in doing in a comp capacity, was just doing commentary. I would love to do a commentary. I would have to learn enough to be able to know what I'm talking about, but like, I would never want to actually play comp, but I, I would love to commentate. I'd love to just be a hype man. I'd love to be a hype man. I would love to do that. Oh, yes. Fall far right off with a bad, with a bit of a bad start. It actually seems like an all or nothing strategy. Yep, it really is. That's so crazy. With agitation though, her terror use. Be you good at it. I did larger, a little bit of commentary so for fighting games. Starstruck. Whenever we would host uh, tournaments. Predictably, nothing's gonna happen here. So it's something I've while, done before. I was never uh, the best at it, but I was I was they good. Can, they can pick up the the ace. <gasps> no, they can't. Uh, she's body blocking. This is crazy, there's only one person on the killer knows that there's only one person because uh, Jen was finished across the map. Stage two! Oh, did get in time? No, it didn't happen. Oh my god, bad. It didn't happen. <gasps> but two okay, downs. Two down, but only one stage for the killer so far. Now the yep. build is known. Which now is wait, uh, out of the water. wait, 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 wait. There's no way. Starstruck could trigger again? Uh, hands, hands fill me in. Why is the killer not picking up? I am. The, 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 the has been redone. Help me. At least, right? <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe maybe he wants to get everything right now. No, he's going back for the hooks. I think he was looking for Lori. Oh, please. We need to pick up the right person here. Deliverance. It would be probably in the back of your mind thinking that this person could have it. What is this bit about? Talking oh, about like the, the, the myth of balance in DBD. They're scouting ahead, hitting everyone with Starstruck. This is a sweaty, uh, like the sweatiest match they can do oh, the based on experienced no, players and what they brought. Oh, wow. Oh, the cast this is safe. an experiment. Wait, oh. you know? They found oh. Meg, who is exposed, 100% exposed, and I think 100% going down also. She's dying, Hannah. Oh no. Okay. Dude, There's I hate Starstruck. This is me so it's getting confirmation bias right. of me not liking this perk. <laughs> I hate Starstruck so much. I'm playing in this and I'm scared. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> All right. Uh, the killer did a bit of an assumption there. Uh, and this survivors make no mistake. Oh they are God, well cornered in here. This is a jungle gym, but it's against a hard corner that they cannot easily escape from. Oh no! Oh, nice Ooh. shot! Wait, it's so dead hard. What? That was an insane play. Excuse me. We're gonna wear this. It's to what pair with on? the Starstruck. Right. The prediction coming out. Oh, oh, oh! There was oh, a oh. stick. Oh my God! They had a syringe on them. On them. Oh. No, that was a medkit, I think. Oh, dear Unless Lord. it was a graphic bug, but I saw. Yeah, it might have been. It might have been. It might have been. Maybe it wasn't that hard. It certainly did look like it, and this girl should have it if she's been hooked. But we'll check. Oh, we'll definitely smart. check. That was really nice. They faked the. <gasps> Ooh, oh my god. Ooh, that was close. A bit that of patience would have been deadly there. Oh my. Very annoying to deal with. Nice try from the swabber trying to get a rescue out of that. Yeah, this crowd controls. And these no, are yeah, showing yeah, their yeah, full strength yeah. in here. 
uh, Moradora Ring gives a whooping 40% extra speed, which is already insane on a killer this fast. And the Yakuyoki Amulet allows you to use your power for three and a half extra seconds. On top of that, because of the way the spirit is coded, it also indirectly makes you recover a significant amount faster, about 60% faster from the top of my head. And a Starstruck happens with five seconds left to go. Man, wow. This snowball is unreal on this one. And this is, mind you, one of the worst map survivors uh, could send the killer to. Yes. That's crazy, dude. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, for a no, brief... she make anything. I think she uh... makes this one. Uh... Killer waits, killer waits. Damn, that's insane internal timing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, <laughs> a crouch back. happened to try to throw the killers off. Remember that when you crouch, you do become a bit quieter. And I don't think Nancy has anything. Does she? That looks like the first kill. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a pickup happened. Killer did an M1 to, as if to anticipate the decisive. And Leith, uh, sorry, uh, Awakened Awareness did show briefly where the survivors were, but... Yeah. Seems our killer is interested in the juiciest of the targets. You! The Ada! Oh no, he completely ignored the ace. Oh man. Alright, uh, Spirit took her chances to find the two healing survivors, but it seems difficult. Mm. Starstruck is now off cooldown. <gasps> Wait, excuse me, how? Okay. Difficult, but not impossible. Does she have a third add-on to just get a GPS read on the survivors? How? <laughs> that is insane. Hello? What kind of clues and hints did she follow to find them there? All right. Well, Spirit's going to zoom across the map. She's going to hear the cells split on the survivor's body. And yep. Good luck. That was insane. And either being said, we're at two gens. Nothing so if you're like, wow, oh the Spirit's like God, really God, slamming God. them. It's like... Oh they my they got down Zaka to two gens. Making a falling wall look survivor sided. So like they got pretty far in. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. That being said, uh, I think it's pretty obvious uh, that this is it. Uh, Dan has been on the ground for almost four full minutes. Uh, Kaz, the Ada, was the last hope of this team, and it's now crumbling away. Yeah, what a sure. match, dude. What a match. Yeah. Awakened awareness, Starstruck spirit. Wow. And survivors are dead. G G's, holy! I would have not expected Sasrock. Jesus, yeah. incredible, dude! And, and man, you these are the best survivors in the world. So you can't even until they like, did oh, it. They yeah, bad. they just kept going <laughs> down so insane, quickly because of Sasrock. What is going on? And awakened awareness allowed him to keep survive. that uh, okay. cycle going with just wow. downing people, like instead downing people. Who did they send to Larry's? That's oh my god! That's so good for you. You're all gonna oh. die, you fools! So you fools! Lots of rage. Okay. Okay. Right, so so what does Larry's have? Good pallets. What does this what does this killer do? Eat pallet for breakfast. Like this is impossible. How are they gonna win this? He's got camp on 33. And he's already found someone. He doesn't need it. This is impossible. There's, there's no okay. way they Alright, who would win pallets or comp on 33? What? what is happening? Oh, oh that's dirty. My. That's so dirty. God. Very nice. First hit coming in, and now Dan knows it's comp for 33. Pallets are useless. The thing about Larry's is it has a lot of pallets, but like, so, oh, no, he's for them. Larry does have a lot of pallets. Uh, I don't hear people talk Larry's about that. Like, that. Larry does have like a really high pallet count. Like, like Larry's, like, I know a lot of survivors, players in general don't like going to Larry's, but survivors also don't like going to Larry's because they don't know where they're going to loop. Because there's no LO, there's so many LOS blockers, but like, there's a high pallet count on this map. There's a lot of pallets. I never, I, I never seen people talk about that, so I'm glad they addressed it. Difficult to find your first gems. Oh my god. And oh my god. and this good pallets mean nothing against this killer. They're just a little suggestion. <laughs> okay, a styptic oh, was yeah, styptic was used on the very first chase. That sounds Imagine how important Method this gone. chase is to extend it by even just a little bit. Yeah, because like you guys see me do this when I'm when I'm playing survivors, I'll start like pre-dropping or using like something strong like like my dead hard. Uh, I just can't do that anymore in the first chase. <laughs> but like like near the end of a match, because I'm trying to buy time for the the last two gens to get done, like gen like the last two gens to get done. So I start playing super sweaty, like throwing early, pre-dropping, using any sort of um, using any sort of uh, using any sort of um, what should I call it, um, like syringe, dead heart, any abilities I have, because you want to buy the time to get that gen done. But like in this situation where it's like more of a comp setting. You're having to do like kind of the invert because you're trying to get all the gen the gens like up front, right? Like you're trying to get the the gens up front. 
because it can fall apart so easily in the mid game. So it's almost like a, uh, a, uh, like a uh, reverse situation. So, yeah. Oh, a full stun happened. The only nice. way you're gonna buy any time against this killer with this add on. Impressive. Doesn't mean anything. Oh, this Got dude, this away, ace is though. actually playing this insanely well. Oh, oh my god, the fact that that was even close. They crouched at the corner and got away. Oh my god. No, they're stuck at the pallet. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, they, don't, they, don't, they, don't, they don't get away from this, do they? Oh. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. And. <laughs> I can't believe how well that was handled by the ace. Yeah. A damn living up to his name. But that was that styptic was actually disgusting <gasps> oh the pain the reds the, the pain, pain reds. reds they didn't let go quickly enough and that's a bad oh sign God, if they're all three there apple appreciate you the blind doesn't know which gen it doesn't matter you can just, you can just check you don't need barbecue if you travel faster than light if you travel faster than you light are the <laughs> you are the barbecue i like that oh, oh floss does he have any interest in seeing what's ahead no he doesn't care okay he, he did have a quick glance and I think uh, we're now having express ticket to Tunnel Town. <laughs> oh, he expected a dead heart. Could it be? Oh, where, where did he go? I don't know. I I, I think our survivor might have just off the record and maybe doesn't need to use that heart then. I think I heard him though. If I'm not mistaken, he's making it to the other side of the map now. No, no, this is off the record. I don't hear. I don't hear him uh, do injuries. At the no. same Wait, no, point, well. It's just ace things, I guess. Just ace yeah. things, yep. Just ace being quiet. Remember when they said they were going to fix that and they never yeah, did? Now, Derkhar will be an issue. Ooh, he kill decides to leave him. Actually, decides yeah, to just straight leave up him. leave him. Okay. That's yeah, a big time investment point. to just kind of like Very not follow up on. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, Look at uh, these palm drops, man. So I would never. Really this is why I don't want to play comp. Look at this. No. I would be so irritated. That probably was not exactly what they had planned. Oh I'd my so god, irritated. did I just see a visionary so they can find gems? This is so funny. This is so funny. Someone has the Felix Burke visionary. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen that. Ever. Christ, Mark, yeah, just to call out gems and maybe get through the, through the corrupt a little bit easier and call them out ahead of time. Wait, uh, Did he? They, they struggled to get to a painter's hook, presumably. Because because Ada was blocking the god pellet. Yeah, I think so. Uh, the one that spawns behind this room always. Wow. And oh another god proper pallet. stun that prevents our killer from just barging through this pallet. That was huge. Okay. Oh. Oh. That was a great fake, but the mate read it perfectly and got the stun just in time. Yeah. And she has another pallet here. Goodness gracious, this one yeah. chase is... Yep. They what? popped the stick Magic. deck? Excuse oh, me? So this is so mean. Why would you want to, like, I know that I'm not, I'm not dissing comp here, but like, I, like, why would I want to play this? Why would I want to just like deal with people just pre-dropping everywhere, every chase? I find that so irritating in pubs. So why would I deal with that in, in willingly? It makes me sleepy. Exactly. Like, I, like, like, <laughs> Odds and heads are like, bro, oh my god, I can't believe he did this. And it's like, uh, like, it's just a bunch of pre drops and then him trying to circumvent a pre drop. It's like the same thing every fucking tile. <laughs> like, like, this doesn't look intriguing to me. I'm just kind of like, cool. Oh my lord. There were two chases where the killer had to have one more half set because of the method. Yeah. And now we're looking at one gen left. Maybe I wouldn't be good at commentary for copy. I'd be like, Not oh, okay. Not to mention the yep, body blocks up. coming from Zaka. Well time. The... Oh, wow, how do they do it? Oh my God. How do they keep doing this? Oh my wow. God. Wow, that, that hit was spicy. Well, uh, a very well executed. I, I, don't think you, I don't think you really tried to react to it. I think they just went through the motions quick enough. That was crazy, actually. Did Ada pop a syringe? Spirit yeah, I think she did. Flight comparison? Ada in the yeah. I think she it's more just like the myth of balance oh, could in DVD, but yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep, she's fully healed. Oh my god. What? Good what? Blood stop, blood stop uh, pouring on the ground. And Ada wow. is gone. Yeah. Wow. How? Is this even a good map for Blight? No, they, they figured that a high tier killer uh, such as this one would struggle here. That's why they sent him here. 
And make no mistake, uh, this is not like keep in mind that if the blight had had an extra inch at the start of the game, they would have all died. They would have all right. died. Make make no mistake. It only takes one tiny mistake, one little down. Wait, did you do another video where you compare and blight and spirit? Everything comes on crumbling. I mean, so, having two extra. Have super safe, fun like, to watch. Is, like, three. It's thing. three. Like it yeah, was a stiptic. It was a decisive. Oh. It was the threat of a dead heart coming after the decisive, yeah. and then it was another stiptic, and then Ada. Okay. Pops uh, an insta heal. That's not suit. So that's it. Um. So just in terms of like the discussion, is it like I get what he's saying, which is that the um that the game is more balanced up at the top level because if everybody's sweating and everybody's bringing the best stuff, like everybody's BS. There, there is no like, oh god, somebody you know, like I said, like that, like I like I said earlier today when that nurse was going crazy like oh thanks for the surprise comp match there's no surprise comp matches if everybody knows what's coming and they can bring the best or the best and they understand the the rules of what's happening right like the rules and expectations of what's happening um i think that's where he's talking about like this pyramid here he's talking about like the mindset but the mindset the mindset is um the mindset is a uh, very different player game to game player to player so there's no way to get that on the same page for an average match. Also, I 1000% I, I agree with what you said, Dipod, is that like all these are either four Ks or four outs. They're either four Ks or four outs. Um, yeah, you, these are all either four Ks or four outs. Like they're, they're realistically not, like if the game was balanced, we'd be seeing two K, three Ks, two, two outs, three outs. Realistically, that would be more of what we were seeing if this was more of a balanced scenario, but realistically what's actually happening is either complete domination by one side or the other which speaks more to the power of the perks power of the items power of the, the characters when it comes to the killers yeah it's it speaks to the strength of what's being brought and not to the skill of the player involved which is supposed to be the biggest part of his pie chart or not his pie chart but the biggest part of his pyramid is the experience factor like the skill of behind the player but that's realistically what was really, really dominating these games that he just showed was the resources. What really dominated that spirit match? It was Awaken Awareness Starstruck on spirit with Mother Daughter Ring. That's what was dominating that match. I'm not saying that character, that player is bad at all. I'm not making that uh, that claim not remotely. But like, that's really what was dominating these matches. What was dominating the, the blind match was them just like, you know, insta healing, getting the endurance. Like, that's what was winning those matches. It was the resources. The resources should be at the top of this of this pyramid. The resources is what was carrying. So, but these two are kind of the most important bit about like the, the average to, like gameplay balance in Dead by Daylight is the resources and the mindset because these are the two things that people don't have a consensus on what they should do match to match. So that's why the game feels so unbalanced is because it is, it is like nobody's bringing the same level of resources. Nobody's bringing the same mindset game to game because it's all one game mode. So we're all just mixed together. The sweaty people that want to bring the best resources versus just average or lesser resources, um, they, they're in the same pool. People who want to play chill and casual versus people who want to sweat their, their mind out. They're in the same, they're in the same pool. So these two, these two are kind of the biggest part of this pyramid and it's not, it's what average gamers can't or you know, realistically, we can't get them on the same page in, in a singular game mode. Um, I'm really shocked that, honestly, that Ots put experience at the top. Because I really do feel like games in Dead by Daily are mostly domineered, mostly by the resources and also by the mindset. I feel like these two are the most important. I would flip these. Experience is definitely incredibly important, incredibly important. You guys see that in the match reviews all the time. Um, people make way less obvious mistakes at, like, you know... 3k plus hours than somebody I review who has like 100 or so, right? But like, like Brain2 said in his video, very accurately, hours isn't everything. And in this case, resources and the mindset part of this is way, way more pre uh, prevalent. So I don't know. I get what he's trying to say is that like at the top level, if everybody sweats, like, yeah, it's a little bit more balanced. But also, like we pointed out, <laughs> is, is, is 4Ks or 4 outs only? Is that a representation of balance? Because even in the match that he didn't show, he said that the Blight absolutely destroyed them next match. It's like, wh where's the balance here? Where's the 2K or 3K? Where's the 2 out or the 3 out? 
there isn't. There, there's nothing like that. <laughs> there's nothing like that. So I think that's that's where I'm not seeing the balance. That's where I'm not seeing the balance. They're not they're not fighting back and forth, tooth and nail, scrapping it up, and barely clutching a, a two out or barely through the through the graphs of of working your hardest, getting a two K, and securing at least the tie. No, it like. One person is kicking the hell out of the other, <laughs> no matter what. Somebody is absolutely dominating the other side. So, is complete domination one side or the other balanced? Even if both sides can completely dominate the other, is that is that how balance works? I don't know. I'm inclined to say not really.